Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A lot of trouble looming for Nigerian actor and filmmaker Yol Edochi as the father has come out publicly to disregard the news of him getting a second wife saying that he is totally not in support of polygamy. So guys, watch the interview which he held with Adakar TV. So guys, as you watch the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification, like, share and drop your comments right in the comment section. This content, we would like to give gratitude and acknowledgement to Adakal TV because this interview was held on their channel. You know, it is not something to be proud of that Nollywood women, most of their marriages are breaking down. Why? Most of these girls have one time or the other played my daughters and I love all of them very much. All of them from beginning to the end. I love these girls. And when I hear that their marriages are broken down, I feel very sad. I pray for these kids. If you know why you are going into your husband's house, you will make the relationship work. A lot of you who are young girls, you want to have children and you want your breasts to remain firm. That is silly. That is stupid. Those breasts are meant for your children. They have to be flattened out by your children. You have a very good ass. Good. You don't want to be firm permanently. No. It's going to drop along the line. Make use of it while you can. You will not be an actress forever, no. There are people like Choma Chukwoka, a water. That's the one I can remember now. Then Mercy Johnson. I mean, these people know why they got married. Fair enough, their husbands are comfortable, no problems at all. Uh, what's Cha Cha Fat Pa Ni or Fani? I don't know what the husband's name is. You see, with her husband, she's about two or three children now. Why can't you people stay? Why? You want to go to Dubai, you want to go to Acapulco. I think a lot of you are crazy. You are not getting married because the man you are married to wants to have a sex too. So that uh, he subjects you to sexual subjugation. No. If you did not marry because your husband is libidinous, you know, because he's, he's obsessed with sexual escapism. You got married because you want to raise a family. That is what it ought to be. You get pregnant, you don't like the shape of your tummy, you want it to smoothen out. It's not, it is not done that way. And anybody who comes to tell that your husband is cheating on you, the moment you move out, that same person who told you that your husband is cheating on you moves in and takes over your husband. But I want to appeal to all of you, give yourselves a chance. Hmm? Let it not be said that our girls are useless, that they can't stay with their husbands. It's not good news at all. I don't like it. I don't. Each time I hear it, it pains me. Because, I mean, I meet some of them, and whenever I meet them, they come and hug me, daddy, 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 and I feel it. They want to ask questions, I'm told that their marriage has broken down, it's not fair, it's not good. Like I said, when I watch rock television, I have a feeling that they are consciously promoting feminism. If you get married to a very young girl and you have some disagreement with your husband, who is the best person to go and talk to? Look for an elderly person, a relation of your husband and tell him, this is what is going on. I don't know what I've done to your brother or to your son, etc. No. The guys I see are rock people, they don't do that. No. They take their problem to their girlfriends who are unmarried, who are unanchored. What kind of advice do they expect? 
because you can tolerate, I can't take nonsense with such a man. I can't, I can't take nonsense. It is because she can't take nonsense. That's why she's not married, right? And she will remain, she will remain unmarried because she can't take nonsense. But hey, pull yourself together. The person you are married to is a human being. Show a man love. Prove to him that whatever it, he thinks, the other women have that you also have. If he is obsessed with kinky sex, give it to him. But you have the responsibility, you have the power to keep your husband. Don't keep losing them. It doesn't make sense. No. It does not. And you see, the most painful part of it is that when other girls see this thing, they think that's the best way to get along. It is not. Marriages break down a lot in Hollywood. We don't want it to happen here. Unfortunately, it's already happening. And it is because our women entertain exotic values. We will be right back. And then let us think about better plots for most of what we do. It is always getting married, not getting married. And talking about getting married, there is something that appears to have become the custom for most of our women I see on Nollywood, our mothers particularly. Even though it is the scripts that they are interpreting, right? <laughs> Nazir has also made it her responsibility to get wives for <laughs> to get wives for her sons in movies. Then Bella Okaro has made it a responsibility to ensure that she scatters whatever family her daughters go into. I mean, let's let's not invest all our energy doing this. If you look as if it's your real character you're portrayed and it's so sad by the way a girl or rather a man is friendly with a man and both of them are kings good he had a daughter the other king had a son it's not a must that both sons and that the son and that both characters both children must be married it's not most of the time, the girl does not appreciate the man. And then tell the father, I don't think I will marry this man. I don't marry the one that shut up. I am, I am your mother. Over my dead body. You're an idiot. If you tell your, your daughter that she will not marry a man of her choice, it has to be over your dead body. What do you want that girl to do? What plan do you have for her? A girl who is a graduate, who knows what she wants, is the person you are telling over my dead body that makes you an animal you're not worthy to be a mother over your dead body why and by the way let's learn a little bit of english here if you don't like the prince who is coming to marry you don't tell him i don't like you you don't say such things no don't tell him I hate you. You don't say such things. Tell him, look, I don't find myself being emotionally committed to you. It's a fine presentation. He will not take offense because you still accept him as a friend. But because there has been emotional commitment, you can't get married to him. He will not take offense. It's just like sometimes we don't have to employ classical English to describe a situation that is not very pleasant. You call a woman a prostitute, a harlot, it's so painful. But if you want to describe a harlot without using the word harlot or prostitute or strumpet or meritrix or partisan or tart, all these things mean the same thing, harlot. But if you want to use a, a sentence, that will appear innocuous in itself. You know? She is easily given to the delights of physical surrender. That's English. That is English. I mean, 
Uh, by the way, there's so much bad English in this uh, YouTube. I don't know who writes all those things. The women has, the the boys has. So I don't know who writes. And no, I, I am not as broad with all this milligram, 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 all this gram. But there should be people correcting these things now. Eh? The man has come and said, "Don't oh, just well, that's it's, those of us who believe that we still understand the language. You are corrupting the little that we believe is right, and it, you know if, if we end up talking like Zebudai, don't blame us because you are responsible for it, right? I am still talking about Nollywood. I wonder who's inside Nollywood. I mean, <laughs> most of our women." respond rudely to the men. It's not proper. You see, outside this country, you will find out that white women try to imitate their men in every way possible. The men wrestle, the white women want to wrestle. The men box, the white women want to box. The men play football, oh, the white women want to play football. This is what our girls want to import here. So that one day I will see a girl climbing the palm tree. That's a sin. Uh -uh. I'm not going to do these things here. No. You see, uh, when we were three kids growing up in Zaria, we always played together boys and girls. I mean, we, we didn't know there was any difference in sexes, but... Gradually, we began to get curious, understandably. We, we would all climb the uh, mango tree to pluck mangoes. Yeah, we all did. One woman wanted to protect her daughter. So she called her. You know what I mean? You are climbing up with men. Don't let them see you are underwear. Don't let them. And Ngozi agreed. You know what Ngozi did? When it was her own turn to climb, she went inside, took off her underwear, came back and started climbing. Because of what the mother told her, don't let them see you are underwear. So, we didn't see her underwear. We saw all what we wanted to see. That was very wrong advice. <laughs> You see, there's so much hypocrisy in our lives. We can talk to our children, employing some better educative, docile language. Let's not scare our children for nothing. I don't love the way our women portray themselves in Nollywood. Fair enough, their argument would be that they didn't write the script. But again, one thing has become very consistent over my dead body. Let's cut out that nonsense. You will not marry your daughter. No. A man wants his daughter not to marry somebody. He keeps the daughter. Sit down. I don't want you to marry this man. If the daughter says, Papa, why? Says, don't worry. He does not owe her an explanation, no. But whatever it is he has seen, no matter how he tries to explain it to her, she will not understand it. Women never do that, no. Because they are very impulsive human beings, no. Emmanuel. Mama, I am your mother, I know what is best for you, nonsense. You can't know what is best for your daughter when she's 25 and above, why? You were not even her age when you got married. Now you know what is best for her. Mm -mm. Let us try to improve on that. Right? The fact that you love a man who is coming to marry your daughter does not mean that your daughter must love that same man. No. There are so many things that attract women in men and uh, they don't transfer same to your daughter. It's not fair. Let her find out what she likes in somebody and then let that person come and get married to her. This is an Adaka TV exclusive.
you guys for watching the video until next time we'll bring you another delightful and much interesting video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on post notification like share and drop your comment right in the comment section once more we'd like to acknowledge that this content belongs to adakar tv and we appreciate that they let us use this particular clip which we got from their channel thank you guys for watching the video do well to subscribe to the channel like share and drop your comments in the comment section